Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Boost bar system consists of two main parts, boost bar support and boost bar rails. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Rectile Reline 60 PLS boost bar system step by step in ePlan Pro Panel. All right, this week, one of my colleagues approached me and asked if we can create a Reline 60 PLS boost bar system example in ePlan Pro Panel. I received this nice drawing, a preliminary BOM, and in about two hours, I was able to create a demo example in ePlan Pro Panel. In those two hours, it mainly consisted out of downloading the components from the data portal, assembling a boost bar system and placing the components on the boost bar system. Today, we'll talk about how you can create your own boost bar system. Let's switch to this enclosure. As you can see, the boost bar system consists of two main components, the boost bar support and the boost bar rails. So that means you need to know the part number of those components. I was lucky, my colleague told me this is the part of the uh, boost bar rail and this is the part of the boost bar support. So first I downloaded those components from the data portal and put it in my parts database. So that's actually the first step which you need to know what are the parts and download the parts. The second step is to create your own measurements to know the distance from the rail to the mounting surface, to know the distance between the rails, so the rail spacing, and eventually if there is a vertical offset for the rails. The first two measurements you can do before you have assembled um, the system. The third measurement you need to test after you have done it. So, how to do the measurements? First, you will just place the boost bar support out of the insert center, for instance, on a mounting pan. So this is the part, 9342050. We are just inserting it here on the mounting panel. And now we're gonna do a couple of measurements by just searching for the measuring functionality. Okay, so first one will be the rail spacing. So we need to know what is the distance between the rails. It's fairly easy to measure it by just selecting one edge here and another edge here. And we see the length is 60 millimeters. So that's the first value which we need to know. The second one is what is the distance between the mounting panel and the rail? So it's also very easy, mounting panel and rail. And we see the length is 13 uh, millimeters and 40. So 1340 is the second value. First value 60 millimeters, second value 1340. So knowing these two measurements, we will now go to step three and that's assembling the uh, boost bar system in the parts database. Okay. So for this, we will go to master data management on the mechanics component boost bar system. This is a retail um, PLS system. So I'm going to click here and create a new part. And the part number we will just enter now here, right? Boost bar system PLS sample. Okay. And now we need to find the boost bar related properties. For this, I will recommend you to go to find and just select boost bar. Okay. So we um, made two measurements. So we know what the rail spacing is. It was 60 millimeters. And we know what the distance between rails and mounting panel is. That's 13.4 millimeters. 
So as you see here, the vertical offset is the third measurement, which we will figure out slightly later. Okay. So what else can be entered? We need to enter the bus bar support part number, which is essentially this one, which I placed here. So it's 9342050. By just selecting it, we can click here to support Rita 9342050 and press OK. Um, then boost bar part number, that's the actual copper rail. We can see the part number was here, 3516000. So also selecting this rail, Rital 3516000 is the first part here and press OK. So we have entered the boost bar the support, the rail spacing, and the uh, distance between rails and mounting panel. Only one more thing which we need, and that's the actual amount of rails which we would like to place. And as you saw in the system, the number is three. Okay? So that's it for the first. As I said, I will need only then to enter the vertical offset eventually. Um, Let's take a look for now, press apply and close. We would like to update the uh, parts uh, or the synchronize the parts database with the project. Insert the boost bar system by going here to insert boost bar system, right? And here is the read boost bar system PLS example, which I just created. By pressing OK, we see the boost bar system um, is placed or is placeable. And now we can place first the support, then drag the length of the system, right? And uh, then we can select the amount of boost bar supports through for our boost bar system, right? In the default one is two, right? It means the start support and the end support. If we would like, for instance, have now three, then one will be centered here in the middle. Okay, so that looks already pretty promising. Only one thing is left, and that's the vertical offset here. So as you see, it's not yet perfect. So we just need to measure one more time. And if I click here, measuring. Just measure the distance here from here to here. It's 285. And with knowing this, we can enter this value now in the parts database. Okay, so 285, master data, management, and I'm gonna search here in my boost bar PLS example, again for boost bar, vertical offset is 285, apply, close, update the project again, right? And if I now click again here to insert boost bar system, you see now it fits perfect and you can place boost bar system as long as, as you want. With A, with the button A, you're jumping to the second variant here of the boost bar system. And here you can, for instance, say seven rails and then five of those will be placed, five of those supports will be placed in between. And as you see, this is now perfect placement. And now you could continue with placing the adapters on the bus bar rails. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to create bus bar systems in ePlan Pro Panel. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Have you already used boost bar systems in ePlan Pro Panel or will you use it shortly? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm very interested to know what other topics would you like to see for my next videos. If you found this content beneficial, please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.